everyone, welcome to this special build I did. Uh, as you guys could see from other videos, I was working on the Grim Reaper. But I also started on the Refit Enterprise, so I had to I wanted to get things finished for my dear friend and my daughter. So yes, the Reaper is done and normally I do like a whole build log videos with it, but I just got her done and went quick. So um, it was not a challenging build at all. It was actually very fun. Um, some things I did, I did add moss to the tree. I did add weathering and moss and growth to the gravestones. And then, as you'll see, I also did some extra stuff for the base. I actually created the ground. I used epoxy sculpt. Not epoxy sculpt. Um, basically, sculptal mold. That's what I used. It was sculptal mold to help do up the ground a little better. And then I added things to it. A little bit of grass, a little bit of that. And then I did um, fog. And campfires you guys have seen or will see. And I also got, um, I was looking for another effect because the Grim Reaper is from the movies and stuff you always see, he's always being controlled by fog and off light and even sometimes lightning. So I found a board that allowed me to do the lightning effects. And not bad, I really did enjoy it. It was very cool. So with that guys, if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button. And click on the little bell, you'll know when I upload it. Usually I try to upload every week. But also, please, if you have any questions on how I did something with this, or did I, you know, questions on how I to help with your builds, even if it's not the Grim Reaper, but if you're having questions on builds, please leave them in the comment section, and I usually resp respond within 12, 24 hours. So with that, guys, I'm going to move to the side and let the Grim Reaper take the stage. All right, uh, still going to keep working on this, um, and I'm going to put up a whole build video after I get it done, but um, first things first, I went ahead, I got some touch-ups to do, but I've got the cow painted, and basically what I did after I primer did, I went in with um, some medium gray to do a little bit of highlighting on the folds, and then I went and painted it with... Um, very, very several light coats of NATO black. Um, and I love the way it turned out. Um, like I said, I got some touch ups to do, but yeah. Pretty darn cool. Um, also, that was a seam line, but what I did is I took epoxy sculpt and I didn't um, try to make it perfect. I just tried to make it look like the cloth, another fold. So I did that. And, um, also I used epoxy sculpt on the tree branch seams. And the great thing about this, instead of just using, like, Bondo, is with the epoxy sculpt I can create little, little extra details into it. So, got the nameplate ready to go for another round. Um, but the base that I'm using, because I was thinking about doing a shadow box with this, and I haven't decided fully yet, but I went ahead and glued the base down. Because I'm going to be lighting the Grim Reaper. And then I'm going to do um, maybe a couple other effects. I'm going to do, definitely have a like a, a log fire, camp little campfire going. Just something to do a, a fire effect. or And um, then I'm going to, the other thing I was thinking of doing is um, doing a fog on the ground. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to play with it and see what I think. I've never done those before. So I'm going to try it. But the base... I got at Hobby Lobby. It's one of their hang boxes that you can make a design. So I just took that off. And I went ahead and I used um, a wood um, sealer so I can do my airbrush on this and do different little things. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to get working on getting some more of this done. And uh, I'll share with you when I get more. All right. Well, tried out my skeleton paint. And first, I, you, you saw the pre-shading, and then I gave it a very light coat of, uh, of not the medium gray, sorry, of the white gray from Vallejo. Um, you probably saw me trying to use this on uh, one of my starships, um, JJ Enterprise, and I like it, but it wasn't doing what I wanted. So, I sprayed it overall with that, then I hit it with Vallejo's Surface Primer Skeleton Bone. Oh, sorry, getting camera. Surface Primer Skeleton Bone. I didn't use it as the primer, but 
I did use the effect and look at that guys nice weathered not very crazy and then I will do a little more effect to it but I really like how that turned out and here's the hand now I still have more more of the skeleton to do but that's on the Reaper staff the scathe so I uh, gotta get everything I can uh, get all the wood painted on it first and then I'll, I'll mask off the wood and go and do the same thing I did here all right guys so there we go I like that tech I like doing this I've been doing a lot of research on it and I found this worked um, pretty good so yay there it is all right forget the mess on the bench but hey um, here he is so far I got him done and after and with the the skeleton Basically, all I did was, like I showed you, I took that that um, white gray, then I went with the uh, skeleton primer from Vallejo, and then basically all I did is I just did a black wash. Let's see if I can get it in a little tighter for you, so you can see that. And all I did was do a black wash, and yeah. And then I used Vallejo wood to get the staff, and then I did a gunmetal, and then I dry brushed with, sorry, um, I did Vallejo wood, and then I did uh, gunmetal, and then I just dry brushed some silver on to give that edge. And then I just used, um, let me see, uh, red brown for the rope. And the other thing that I did, and give me just a second here, guys. There you go. Here, let me shut that off a little bit and zoom in. Yep. So I gave him flickering red eyes. Well, it was a request from my daughter and my friend. That I do that so so now I'm gonna mask off what's mask off the LEDs and then I'm gonna give him a good uh, clear matte coat and he's gonna be pretty much done well this one's done I still got this the other one to do but yeah so not too shabby and like I said I've really never done figures I did did the Frankenstein for my friend and uh, Kind of got me into it, so I kind of like doing these. So, um, when I get more done, I will share with you. Well, good morning, everyone, and it is Saturday, and um, doing a little extra work on the Grim. So, um, I used uh, Model Masters Clear Cement. I put some to help protect the LEDs in the eyes, and now I can do just a light brushing of smoke to help. Diffuse them a little bit, maybe give, make them a little airier, but yeah. So, and then I can go ahead and do the last, well, actually, get it dusted off and get it sprayed with matte. And something else I did, I added stuff to the trees. Now, this is just moss. Um, it's, it's done for um, dioramas, but I thought it would look really great on the base. So, um, basically all I did is I hot glued them, and then I went back and I sprayed matte over it again to help diffuse the hot glue starts, and I might dust those up just a little bit more, but I think that's going to make it look a little bit more eerie, just, just to give it a little more life, because the model is just the tree and nothing else, so I added that. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on the Grim and get that done. Oh, and I also... Um, Got the bases um, done up, so give me just a second, I'll show you. And here's the base. Now, um, I went ahead and used the, the kit piece. Let me get this back here a little bit. There we go. And um, I like it because, one, it's you know going to help keep everything in its proper place. Not that I couldn't do without it. but um, And then what I did is I went with Sculptal Mold to give a little bit of terrain. And I also did... The grave markers so um, working on getting the grim done and then I'll get working on the base and I will share oh 
And before, when I get, come back and show you what I did with the base, I'll show you what I did with the nameplate. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, well, some new effects that I'm trying that I've, I haven't really tried before. Lighting, yeah, but um, the pulsing lights you see is going to be covered with a fog. But this was the first time I've ever done fire. And I haven't glued it down yet because I still got to do it. But uh, I'll make a better video when um, I get more done and can put more um, darkness on but yeah that's that's cool and let me turn the light on so you can see that there and basically I use fiber fill and I glued it in and I spray painted it gray and black to, to do that so hey that's kind of fun let me turn it here it's really good there so So that's all right, guys. I'm still working, so yay, it's getting good. It's getting close. Well, hey, everyone. It is Saturday afternoon. I finally got all the lighting in, and I want to show you two things before I discuss the lighting. So I bought magnet wire a couple months ago because I started using it because I loved uh, the smaller smallness of it. So when I remembered I had it, this is the wiring with the magnet wire. And uh, that is the wiring with 30, uh, 30AG. I like it really good. Um, but using the magnet wire, I cut the time it took me. It took me almost an hour and a half or so just to get this all wired in and done and, yeah, taken care of. And I did this in about 45 minutes or less. So... I do like magnet wire. It's a little, it's new, something newer to work with, but hey, um, all good things, right? And I still use a 30 AG, um, but I am starting to really like the magnet wire because it's, it's wee small. So what I did, guys, is like I said, I'm gonna have a kind of a bonfire or semi campfire going on here, and then I have breathing white lights. Um, LEDs and I'm gonna do something I've never done before is once I get this painted and set the way I want I am going to take um, this stuff uh, give me a second I am going to start taking and I'm gonna use fiber fill I have been watching videos sorry guys I have been watching videos on it and I've heard about it and I was like what the heck's fiber fill? So finally, I like it. It's it's awesome. I used it on the Piker Price to help diffuse the engines, uh, the impulse engines. And what I'm going to do is not only am I going to make a smoke column coming up from here, but then I want to, after I get everything where I want and how I want it, I'm going to have it coming, wrapping around and doing a fog, and then it'll do that twinkly, twinkly light thing. Um, I already got the power set switch done I've got the power in as you can tell I've got everything in so now I'm gonna get the the, the LEDs masked off and uh, get started on getting some paint done so I can finish doing this part up so I'll see you when I get that done well, hey um, got a little more done yesterday and I went ahead and I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these um, foam feet to help protect the bottom keep it up and then basically I went and appreciated and then I went and used copper a little cockpit to me a green let me show you real quick this one to help give that little bit of age of copper and then I went and um, used smoke so I was trying to make this an older base kind of looking thing um, so yeah, so now I'm masking it off and getting ready to start on this. And um, once I get the, the colors down that I'm going to use, um, one, I'm going to get this to look like stone, and then I'm going to mask it off and then finish off the other colors. And at that point, once all the other colors are done, I'm going to remove the masks and glue in the 
headstones and the reaper the tree is going to be the last thing because it's really fragile and I need to be able to do this once stuff finally comes in because I did find a lightning effects board not bad price at all and I'll explain it to you when it comes in but so I can get that lightning effect of the fog but what I want to do is get these in and glued so I can start doing the ground cover that I want to do um, and I'll show you that when I get going there but first things first I got to get it masked off and get the colors down and then on from there so I'll see you when I get that done all right guys um, the other base is done and you saw the the uh, chimney effect or the f fire effect I did but basically all I did guys is I went with landscape things and I just just made this a little made it where I liked it um, now I've got everything pulled off I'm gonna let this stuff dry and then the next thing I'm gonna do is start working on the fog but I thought I'd let you see how it's coming so and yes I will be doing a little more weathering on the stones but let me see if I can pull this in so you guys can see a little better so yeah and you around so yeah it's coming out really really cool so with that guys I am uh, gonna let this dry for a while and then I'll get back to it well guys it is Friday and hopefully the last day for the Grim Reaper um, I ordered this board from a company Nightfire Electronics it does lightning effects but the problem is you got to put it all together they send you the stuff but you got to put it all together so I gotta check it out because they give you a resistor to put in the board but I already put resistors on the light so I gotta see if they're still gonna work or um, if I can just do a jump wire from there to there so with that guys I'm gonna get to work on this and when I get done I will share okay guys there we go I got it all hooked up and uh, fog lights that I'm gonna do to help illustrate the fog and then the lightning Whew. so now I gotta do the other one and then I'm gonna start working on the fog and hopefully I will get this done today Friday November 6th so I'll catch you guys when I get more done all right well the Grim Reapers are done and I don't have them lit up yet and I will but I wanted you to see the the overall effect of the build and what I got done and yes I will be putting still photos of this up so you guys can get all the craziness that I did for this but yeah so there you go and all right there we go Let's see if I can zoom in without this thing going crazy There's that fire, and I'll show you the other one, but let me zoom out here. There you go, you can see the fire on both. Now I did try to um, encircle the fire with the fog, so it has that dry spot where the you know the heat's keeping it away, but let's see if I can get a little closer for you guys. There you go. And then like I said, I did this lighting effect because I thought it would look really neat. And... There we go. Alright guys, well, like I said, I'm going to get some pictures made, or taken, and uh, and I will share. Alright guys, so that's where it's going to be. I like the effects. It looks really cool. Like I said, a lot of this is my first time, especially the lightning effects. And you guys saw that uh, in the video where I got it from, but it's really, really cool. So with that guys, um, I'm going to get the gram ready to go to the family and get, keep working on the uh, starship. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you on the bench.